Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I'm Simmer Chase, and today I'm in a hot tub. Yes, I'm in a hot tub. So I completely made over into what I see as sort of like the, the Japanese flair and sort of design elements that I was able to pick up just from like Google and then studying architecture in college and just a lot of different things kind of through my life that I've experienced, like Japanese botanical gardens and um, kind of living near a botanical garden. And so that made me really think about kind of the default houses. And I felt a lot of them seemed really dark. And every house that I've ever seen um, that represents Japan, they're usually not that dark. They, they definitely do have shorter ceilings typically. Um, because of their design standards, but they typically do have a lot of like air and brightness still. Um, and there's not a lot of heavy elements that much. It's usually, it feels fairly light and, and airy. And then you just kind of build really opulent, like larger, like architectural features that really kind of like make it seem bigger than it is. So that's kind of what we have now. I can't wait for you guys to see the house. Um, and we're going to be following the um, sort of one of the main families from Snowy Escapes um, and kind of break that in a little bit. So you're going to see kind of how I actually play when I get a first look and first game go ahead at a expansion pack. So it's really funny because usually I kind of get a little demented. So I think about like whatever story like EA and Max is kind of creates of like the narrative. And then I totally like flip it on its head. So there might be cheating, there might be a death, or there might be somebody that's like having seven children all of a sudden, or like something really far out and just totally off the wall. Um, so it's really hard for a lot of my sins to be monogamous just because um, they are who they are. Um, and I just think it's really hilarious, honestly, in the game because everybody now with the sentiments, the interactions are a lot different too. So we actually have the tour guide lady. She was really, really hard to like, um, like the lady that walked around and was like trying to be the tour guide. She was like, oh my gosh, so, so hard, so hard to try and like schmooze over and even like get on the side of being friends, much less trying to get her to leave her husband to be with our Sim. So without any further ado, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe in the links below. And as always, stay proud. Go out and do something magical. And let's go ahead and dive into this crazy story and how I play the game now. Yes, yeah, Snowy Escapes, I'm so stoked, you guys. So we're going to chase your thrills, find your zen, create your sanctuary, and define your lifestyle. And... I'm really going to put my own twist on it. So when I get a pack, I really like to go off the rails a little bit and just kind of test the limits of the game and just kind of see what all kind of crazy I can stir up. Yeah, some of it's kind of inspired in things that I've seen in my own real life or things that I make up that are just really goofy and salacious and, and crazy because not everybody likes to see the happy ending, the happy story. And I like kind of creating the ones that people eventually do find the happiness but it's just not in any of the particular ways that anyone expects. So right now I'm just coming through, kind of looking at everything, picking my families, kind of deciding what we're going to do. So we have the Akiyama family and then we have the Ido family. Those are the two that we're going to be pairing together. So you're going to see here in a moment kind of what happens, but it's quite fun. And I just kind of was just goofy with this one. So thanks again, guys, so much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one going. So I'm just kind of, you know, picking my last little bit. And then I decide that that's when I'm like, Akiyama, yep. I want to redo that house too. Um, and then the thing was, is then I kind of, as I was playing along, I found out that you really do kind of need thermostats in your houses. People get cold in their, their um, clothes. So this is our family right now. We have a family of four here. We have the the dad, the mom, and the two kids, or a husband and wife and the two kids. However, 
as we all know, that's not the way that I tell my story. You know, it's like going to get something a little goofy, a little different. So these are the people right here. And so you can just kind of see what's going on with everybody. So I'm just like really stoked, you guys. And I think that they're going to you're going to laugh. And hopefully so we actually have like the mom and the dad right now like she's basically super obsessed with skiing she is like oh my gosh guys like this is so exciting yay we're a great family we're so connected but they don't realize that i'm behind the mouse wheel so yeah <laughs> they're definitely gonna be in for a little whirl so now I'm just kind of, you know, looking at the house a little bit. I actually realized right off there's not a trash can on the outside. So it accumulates trash in this house. And then also does in the vacation lots too. So you're going to want to definitely make sure to go in and add other trash cans. And then while you're at it, add thermostats if you have seasons because they still get cold, um, especially like the default clothes that he wears. Um, to bed is like a tank top and some like um, bed pants or whatever so now we're gonna go on vacation like we already know like we're going on vacation like duh that's why we're here so now I'm just kind of looking at seeing what vacation house makes the most sense because you know when I looked at the house that we have like when I look at uh, Japanese architecture and kind of what I've seen on TV but then in like architectural classes researching National Geographic things seem a lot brighter even though they might have like shorter like clear heights in the ceiling to floor they're still really bright um clean minimalist houses so when i i immediately think of that when i'm like kind of working on the house and so now we are on vacation yes so i'm coming around looking at everything you're going to want to, like I said, like go and do this through build mode. You can't build and buy mode or I mean, um, build and live through the live mode vacation. You have to actually exit and then go back through build mode to get there to do it. Um, but I highly recommend it. So we have this gal here. She is what I thought maybe was the, like the, the tour guide or kind of the lady that's going to maybe share the secrets kind of of the island. But she is angry. She is livid. She's like, you're not my neighbors. I, you must be here on some Airbnb thing because I do not want you here. Mm -mm. You're bringing noise. You're bringing crazy. And so she's like, and you don't even have your fireplace lit. So she lights the fireplace. And that's the first bad sign. Definitely the first warning signal almost of like, Oh no, lady comes in my house, lights my fireplace. I did not see she could. No, no. So then, of course, Jenna goes back and, yes, blows out the fire. And so he's like, I'm trying to figure out, like, who you are. What's up, girl, Megami? Like, hello. And so he's just trying to figure her out a little bit and like just get on her good side at least like, you know, maybe because like she's immediately angry and upset. Like, I don't know why this is a beautiful place, too beautiful to be angry. Absolutely too angry. But so he's like really trying everything he possibly can to schmooze her over. Like literally everything to schmooze her over. And she's not lying. Broody Vibadeso. So now I'm just like, um, what else can we say? Like, how do I get her on my side? So then I just start like chatting about like normal, like random topics that like everyone, you know, like at least knows something about, like the weather. We all have weather. So I thought that might be a good starting point. And then I'm like, I'm going to give her money because I bet I could buy her too, maybe if I try. So I did. I gave her 10K, 10,000 simoleons right off the bat. And then she's got like a lot of other like just little traits and things that I'm trying to like figure out. So I'm just like, okay, now what is going on? So I'm like, I know we can just, I can keep showering you with gifts. <laughs> Here's another gift. And the wife's like not even picking it up, but she is starting to get kind of jealous. She's like, um, okay, yeah. And he's like, this is a gift from the both of us. And then the wife's like, yeah. And then she's like, what? Wait, 
You're starting to get flirty. Oh, Ruskin. And she's like, what is this? What are you talking about? Hmm? Yay, boo, crude. Cuddle. So he's just super, like, into her. And, Chicks like, his blonde. wife doesn't realize it yet, but he's already, like, falling mad <laughs> over in love with her. And, like, his wife is just so obsessed with, like, fitness and stuff. And he's like, that's just not my bag of groceries here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, True. it's not me. It's just, like, I'm not True. into that, you know? And, and so he's, like, True. more, like, chill and, like, doesn't he, – he'd rather just go to the mountain to look around. He's not going there for the climb. So – now he's like really famous like i thought you know like he needs to be super famous because he just seems like that type to me that's just like a a modern day tom cruise-esque type and so i'm like you're just really fancy and bougie and you definitely definitely have five star fame we're not sure how you got it but we definitely are 100 percent sure that you have it you're everywhere you're so famous, but no one ever really remembers how you got famous. So now he's like just trying to have a conversation with his wife and like trying to calm her down a little bit. He's like, calm down, calm down. But of course you don't tell the crazy to calm down because you know what happens. More crazy. Yeah. So like literally he's like, okay, this is a situation. My wife is just crazy. I'm like not really into it anymore. So like, what's your deal? Like, what are you into? So he's like really trying to figure that out. And she's just like buying his like stories and his little shtick, you know, and that kind of stuff. And she's just starting to submit in a little bit and get getting kind of interested. She's almost buying the goods, but not quite yet, you know, so hopefully after some maybe deep conversation and maybe like, you know, opening up vulnerabilities about maybe discussing vampires and the fear of vampires and maybe like speculate and create conspiracy theories about like if vampires even exist, you know, that kind of thing, so that no matter what, she sees him opening up and being vulnerable, yes. She seems to really like it now, though. And he's like, well, I don't like this now, honestly. Like, he's like, I'm a beach guy. He's a beach guy. Like, he's not even into this that much. He's just here for the sightseeing. It's his wife. She's the one that's obsessed with the snow and the ice and the skiing and everything else. He just, like, wants to be cozy. So now he's like, here's my house key yeah welcome and his wife still like is starting to get like you can see her meter tick up like down there like she is red hot angry super angry he's like you're just so amazing oh you're so awesome and i'm so handy i'm so cool and i'm all that in a bag of chips you really won't even know how salty I can be because I am such a great person and I do all these really amazing things and I invented the moon and I can do all these really amazing, amazing things in my career and in my life and he's just like get this get this you, you won't even get this whole whole story like you, and now it's crazy because now they're gonna become millionaires boom millionaire yes so he got a very large endowment uh from his long lost relatives and now he is extremely rich so he has over three million simoleons and he can shower her in gifts and get her really excited about him because the only way he really sees that he can get this deal closed is with cash. So he's really getting the cash. So now he's like, okay, now what can I do? What are we gonna do? So he's like, I'm just gonna flirt. Be really vulnerable and flirty and cute. And he's just going to have another convo with her. Oh, and then here's his wife. She's like trying to figure out where to put the trash. So she puts it in the little tiny trash can. But then she gets upset here in a minute. Uh-oh. 
they're starting to get really into each other and he just gave her like a little gift and now it's like oh he's like uh kind of like into oh. her like you know oh, mesh, oh, blah, sims ah. thing for a second <laughs> Ooh, and then um now Luna. it's like whoa yes, yes you're awesome <laughs> i love you you're so cool and then the wife's like oh my god <laughs> 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 and just starts waking out. Oh my gosh, she is waking uh, out over the situation to the point of where she's getting manic uh, and burning yes, money. Like, oh my gosh, what a crazy Maya. lady. But again, you can't tell a crazy, they're crazy. Uh, Only more crazy happens. So hopefully he knows not to push no, those buttons. But I doubt it. I have no confidence in that. I bet he's probably going to keep pushing the envelope. But we'll see. So yeah, now he's like, um, I just really love the hot, hot, hot air, warmer temperatures and all this stuff. I can help get you out of this like cold tundra and we can warm up together. What do you say? And she's like, mm, okay, sounds fun. Okay. He's like, yeah, let's do it. She's like, okay, I'm catching this vibe. Yeah, I'm starting to buy the goods now. Cool. Sick of foods. Balafoy so Balakate. now they're just, you know, chilling, Walking chilling, chilling. Oh. And, and oh, he's God. just like, uh -huh. you're awesome. Whoa, like, you're totally ish, bad. Ish. You're all that in a bag of chips, too. <laughs> and now Boy, she's like, Jelja. um, what oh, else so, are you going to do? So like, Rishi? really? Rishi. Like, um, she's, like, okay in press, but she's, like, not, like, blown over by any means. But she's, like, really stoked to at least be, like, good friends with him now. And he finally made it to that point of where, like, really into each other. Like, is good friends. And they've known each other for so long. All these minutes matter. Like, they just love each other already. Like, it's just this, like, really cute, like, instant love. Like, love at first sight. They're married in minutes you know kind of thing like they're just so in love and swept over each other right now so it's like what else is there left to do but kiss you know i have the first kiss and now his wife's like wait she's like no, 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 no. you're not gonna do that crap not around here and now look at her storm off she's like super super mad and now look watch he's trying to take the trash out to like smooth the situation over but then of course of course, it goes nowhere. Uh, the trash can go nowhere. So now, he's just gonna like stomp it. She's gonna stomp it, I guess. Like somebody's stomping it. Yep, so the... So, uh, Jenna is angry. Jenna is angry and totally like, no. No, 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 no. 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 And just mad. She's like passive aggressively picking up all the trash and getting like crazy like angry and hostile and we're just like oh my gosh what kind of crazy are you doing who is this and so he's like hey do you want to go upstairs like i want to show you something and she's like yeah yes yes so now like his wife already knows she's like oh my gosh ew and more trash Ugh. so now we're in here sealing the deal um, you know, making compromises together in bed, trying for a baby. We'll see what happens. But the wife's just kind of like mad as heck because all of a sudden in her house, while well, she's there and she's like, oh my gosh, like this is not okay. This is not okay. But like she's not even in there like trying to stop them or like yell at them or anything. She's just like too focused on skiing and her life and like oh so they're about done here uh with the deal so yep okay so now in a moment you're gonna see kind of what i mean so yeah she's like oh oh i feel like a million dollars a billion simoleons oh, yes. <laughs> So now we have this crazy here, and then uh, round two. I'm like, oh my gosh, really? Round two? Like already? You're tired? And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cut these. 
I'm going to slice them as much as I possibly can. And it's just going on and on with the tomatoes. And I'm just like, oh, girl. So they're done for the second time. And the wife's just mad, 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 mad. She is like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this even happened. Like, what is going on here? And so he's like, there's only one thing left. So I'm like, what is that one thing left? Hmm. Go ahead and leave uh -uh. your spouse. And she's like, mm, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. the Done. Tank will Sarabu. So now, oh, she did it. Uh -huh. me. Oh. Uh, and see, so he still bad. has his ring on though. <gasps> She's just mad now. She's like already sees what what's coming down the pipeline. The tunnel is not good looking for her. But then again, she's too focused on her own things and busy to even like pay attention or really know what's going on. So it's sad, but she's like, you know, just kind of got to get over it a little bit because he's already moved on. He's super playful. He is chill. He is stoked and happy. So now we have the hug of hugs. Zab, or Bedeen. Uh, She's like, oh yes, another kiss. And now also like the hot pot. So we're gonna be hot potting, but you can't hot pot with her because she's not part of the family. And she's not invited on our vacation. Oh, so wow. she cannot hot pot with so us. Cool. But she will partake with the hot pot with us once we oh. put the hot pot out. So no, that's kind not. of the workaround on that. She's Join just going to invite herself to hot pot. And so the wife, she's like, okay, well, I put all this together. Still, you guys are going to come eat. Like, I don't care. We're going to set this aside. And we're going to still try and make it a nice night. And she's like, I just want to have a nice night. Like, come on. I just want to have a nice night. And he's like, well, yeah, but there's all these other things going on. You're crazy. I just can't, I can't deal with this crap. And like, what's going on in real life anymore? Like, who knows? Like, do we really even need to do this anymore? And so he's just arguing about everything. Like, he's mad about, like, how she parents, how she doesn't pay attention to anything, doesn't Kate take care of anything. She's just like, mad, 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 mad. And he is too, because she's just not up to snuff a little bit. So now he's like, she's, um, Jenna's trying to like get to know Megomi a little more and just kind of understand like where she's coming from and kind of like schmooze things over a little bit, but it's not helping, it's not helping. We don't know what's going to help, but it's certainly not this. So now they're eating and it's just a super awkward dinner. You know, it's like barely anything said. She wants to go like skiing so bad or go climb a mountain and she like can't like she doesn't have a high enough skill because again, she's not good enough, not quite up to snuff for what he's looking for, unfortunately. Uh -huh. oh. And now she's just mad and going manic oh, again and like dumping more cash, <laughs> like boom. Seven, eight. And so now uh. he's like, hey, do you wanna move in? And she's like, oh yeah, but $5, five oh, simoleons, man, that's it. Oh, that's all she could and, uh, bring. Yonky? And I'm like, whoa, that's oh, so unfortunate and really Let's sad go. that like that's all she got out of her divorce was five dollars. So I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. So now we're gonna see if you know maybe when we tried for baby if it worked. Oh. It did! Woohoo! Yes, our guy is now a expecting father and she is with child. Yes. So now we are with child with the mistress who is like staying in her house, not living here. Well, she is now, she just did move into. So now she is pregnant with our kid, living in her house. Don't know which bed she's staying in, but like our wife is still here too. She's like really angry all the time now and jaded, jaded, just absolutely angry and mad at the world. Like, and I could totally understand and get her point, but like, she honestly could have just tried everything. So now he's like, look, Jenna, we're done. We are done. Like, no, you don't even get it. Like you're a bad mom. You only go skiing. You don't do anything else. Like I'm bored of you. Like next please. 
So yeah, now they are gonna go back to hot potting because now they've had their serious conversations and she's just like, I'm done, I'm spent, whatever. I'm not eating anymore. I lost my appetite, bye. <laughs> so now Megami is gonna, like they're gonna chat together and it'll be awesome because he's just gonna really confide in her and you know, just kind of like spill the beans and really just make it clear that like Megomi is the one for him and he is just like so over the moon he wants to take her skiing or to the mountain but then unfortunately realized that pregnant women cannot go up skiing they can't even get on the bunny skiing or any any of the trails none of that they can't do that so now she's kind of like put a damper a little bit on our vacation but like he's totally okay with that because he could always just go like do stuff himself a little bit and then kind of come back around to do the tasks that she can still do so he's like really looking forward heavily to like building snow pals with her and like really being able to like kind of have that moment that he seemed to have not got with his last two children because they just appeared out of thin air basically and so he really got to miss those beginning like oops, see, get pregnant but got to really miss those beginning moments you know the walking the toddler face all of that he it just seemed to have happened out of thin air so he's really wanting to kind of start fresh and start over and so now megami is gonna go and just kind of build her snow pal and really kind of express herself in the way that she does it so yes it's pretty intense and now um oh jenna she is just like mad she is like disappointed frustrated upset tired agitated but it was kind of all on her own doing so hopefully maybe like in the next episode she'll have a better chance at you know kind of a spoiler but maybe she'll have a better chance at finding love and happiness on her own right as well so but it might take her husband a little um effort on his part to introduce her to someone to kind of break that sort of barrier there so now he's coming up to her they're building snow pals yay now he's gonna go and he's gonna get um skiing so now are you ready are you ready yes yes we are and this is also today's episode thanks again so much guys for tuning in i hope you have a great day stay proud and stay tuned to the next episode